Hi Cancer, welcome to your October 2022 tarot reading. Happy Halloween, you guys. So this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, other placements. If you felt the need or if you have found this video, there just might be messages here for you. Even if you're listening early November, looking back on some of the things that may have taken place in October. So Cancer, very interesting. Um, first of all, I noticed that it was extremely foggy outside this late October, early morning that I'm recording your reading. Please excuse any outside noises. Um, it is a busy Saturday morning here in Michigan. Um, but the fog may be significant. I, I felt a very significant uh, kind of surprised me um, as I looked outside. It just it was very, very thick fog, you know. Um, so there could be a lack of clarity. Other than that, I tried to record your reading last night and I was simply unable to connect with you. So I thought I would try again today after work and I still faced a little bit of, I guess just, it was a little hard to connect with you um, to get ready for your reading. So I feel that that may be a metaphor or a message or an omen for some of you out there listening. There may be things taking longer. Um, I did not know that I messed my nail up while shuffling. Great. <laughs> Anyways, um, there may be, you know, just some patience that you need to tap into. There may be things that aren't happening the way that you would like them to happen. Um, and I, I felt, as your tarot reader, I felt very frustrated. Sometimes certain signs will take a while. Certain people or individuals will take a while to connect to. And as a tarot reader, I simply just have to be patient for the energy to align. So that may be uh, advice for you. But there's definitely some frustration um, in the cancer reading that I can feel when it comes to just things not happening. You know, rejection, obstacles, restrictions, delays. But just keep in mind, especially, you know, going into November, having been through October, there was eclipses. There's eclipses in November. We're getting out of retrograde season. And, you know, it's just a strange time, a little bit of a waiting period. OK, so I think those are all the messages that I have for you uh, as far as intuitive messages at the beginning. Aside from the fact that we went through Libra and Cancer season, or excuse me, <laughs> we went through Libra and Scorpio season in October, the first half was a cardinal energy that squared you, your fourth house of home, which is what you naturally are associated with in astrology, Cancer. So there could be some things with your family, your home, um, you know, your foundation, the past. But as we enter Scorpio season, your water sign, sister and brother, similar to you as Pisces and Cancer are also water signs, you may feel a little bit more at home. Um, this is a little bit more of a creative space here at the end of October, beginning of November until around the November 22nd and we enter Sagittarius season. But Scorpio season will probably be a bit easier for you. It trines you. There's harmonious flow between Cancer and Scorpio positively on the zodiac wheel. So we'll see how things progress, but um, I am using two decks in these readings. I just am almost seeing 333 on the clock. That may be a metaphor or a sim symbol synchronicity for someone out there. I'm using the Witch's Tarot and the Nightmare Before Christmas Tarot. We will get into those messages here in a moment, but what I would like to do, especially after finally being able to connect with you, Cancer, um, I would like to see the messages that exist in this deck after a significant amount of shuffling. Um, this is your ruling tarot card, the chariot, for those of you guys who didn't know. So this is the card that I wait for and connect to whenever I'm reading for the zodiac sign Cancer. And it lets me know that you guys are ready and aligned for the reading. So I'm going to go ahead and see what kind of a story is being told in the cards after shuffling and connecting to you. There just may be an extra message here for you, okay? So we know that the chariot, excuse me, the chariot card is you. Talks about acceleration and fast movement forward in spite of physical control over a situation. You can control it in your mind. You're um, victoriously surpassing obstacles and limitations in your way, seen or unseen, light or dark. And we do have, um, in this deck, we have the aspect of a crescent moon. So this could very well be talking about the eclipse. Now, I want to remind you, Cancer, you are ruled by the moon. So whenever the moon is new, whenever the moon is full, whenever the moon eclipses, you're able to feel that a bit differently than the rest of us, okay? Because it is your ruling celestial planet. 
you are an avatar for the moon and this is why cancer can experience many emotions in many different moods um, as the moon shifts and goes through phases the card right behind you which is in some ways the most important is the empress mother figure energy you as a mother uh maybe your mother or, or just mother figures anytime you're caregiving or nurturing this is also abundance in the planet Venus. Venus is entering Scorpio at the end of October. Your Venus placement, some of you may have Venus in Cancer. Um, this is fertility. This is, um, you know, some of you may be pregnant or mothers. And it's interesting, Cancer, being ruled by the moon, the female energy, you are also associated with the mother archetype, the nurturer, the unconditional lover in astrology. So even if you're not a mother, even if you're not a female, this could be bringing attention to those energies around you in life, okay? And again, this is this is the kind of energy that shows up whenever you're nurturing something and taking care of something and nursing it back to life. This may be self-love, but it looks to be like some kind of new beginning, um, abundance, harvest, very, very uh, creative, loving energy, Venus energy. So it could be Libra, Taurus, Aries. We have the Two of Cups coming up next. So lots of feminine energy, beauty, attraction. So this looks to be like an emotional connection that is symbolic or important in some way at the time that you're watching this and perhaps looking back. We have June 25th, 26th, 27th that may be important. Some of you guys may be born around that time. So the Two of Cups can be a decision emotionally. This is obviously some kind of a soulmate connection. There could be some kind of a choice here, but... Um, Yes, okay, there's some kind of emotional connection, soulmate, relationship, strong emotional connection here that you're focused on, okay, the feminine aspect of, of connecting emotionally, um, but we have the five of cups coming out next. This is your energy as a Cancer, got Scorpio and Pisces here as well with the two water cards. So um, there's loss that you're experiencing in a relationship. This may or may not involve a wife or a feminine aspect, your, your mother. Um, you know, the way you were raised or your relationship with your mother kind of reflecting on how that influences the way that you receive and give emotion as an adult. Now, it's interesting, whenever I have the two of cups and the five of cups, there are two cups in this card. So the two cups that are in this connection here, someone here, whether it's you or the way someone else is feeling, there's a little bit of emotional regret, conflict, pessimism, depression even. You know, there's some things that didn't work out and we want to be careful not to let that affect uh, the things that could still work out in the future. There could be a loss of a friendship or a reconciliation that isn't happening. You're really focused on connecting with a specific person, sharing emotion and having a relationship with a specific person. Um, but someone here is a little bit disappointed and let down. OK, um, so I don't know what this is going to be for all of you, but I definitely see that there is some kind of an aspect here that is conflicting or troubling someone emotionally in a connection. We have the emperor coming out next. This is Aries energy in astrology. We do have the emperor and the empress in the same reading. So this is the divine masculine, the, the divine feminine connecting, and there's some regret or shared regret or loss, okay? Um, we have mother-father, mother-father connection. We have Mars and Venus, so this could very well be a soulmate or a twin flame, okay? A married couple or someone who is very connected in a committed relationship. But this is also about knowing who you are, taking control over your feelings. This could be a father figure, there could be two children that are involved here, or children in general. The idea of children, your childhood if you don't have children, pets even. There could be some obstacles there. We have the king of swords, ex-husband, ex-boyfriend, ex-wife, ex-girlfriend, but some communication, needing to be uh, mature mentally in order to be precise and, and clear, have clarity and to be um, articulate. Okay, this could be a little bit of a detached energy. We do have a male, um, I don't know if this is your father or a father figure. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Aries energy. Um, anyone in authority, this is you when you have mental authority to make decisions, to cut things off. Again, to be detached and work from more of a mental space. This could be that Libra season energy between October 1st and 22nd. That was important. But someone here can be a little bit arrogant, controlling, narcissistic. But the good thing is, is that we have the Wheel of Fortune. So things are going to be unexpectedly turning around in your favor. We've got Jupiter re-entering Pisces at the end of October. This could have to do with the uh, winter solstice, December 22nd to December 21st. 
between now and then things are really going to be shifting in your favor unexpectedly with the the tower card unexpected shifts things that were built on false foundations coming to an end shifting in your life um things may shock you in a good way with the wheel of fortune in the tower we got mars and jupiter there okay so yeah communication mental control mental authority there could be some kind of a lawyer or, or someone that you need to speak to an authority or this could just be a, a really bold conversation where you're speaking your truth in regards to um, you or someone else feeling emotionally conflicted and sad about a relationship that is on the outs or on the verge of tipping over dumping over okay so you definitely got some regrets or disappointments in general when it comes to love and sharing your emotion trust me as a water sign i definitely understand that connecting to the feminine energy the feminine energy that you have regardless of gender would really help you be emotionally reciprocative it would help you reconnect with your own emotions and then again that mother figure energy that caregiving energy nurturing certain relationships that have um choices attached to them or regret or disappointment and we are back to the chariot which is you keep in mind you are going to be beautifully accelerating beyond any of these obstacles okay so hopefully that resonated cancer um, that is your message. And now we're going to shift gears to the Nightmare Before Christmas deck for the rest of your reading. So I'm not sure if all of you are uh, familiar with Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. It's one of my favorite movies. Some of us are going to be watching this or have watched this in October. And we may watch again in December to celebrate Christmas. So let's see what's going on for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising for October 2022, Halloween 2022. We have the Queen of Wands coming out first. This is a fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you guys may be connecting to a fire sign. Some of you guys may have this energy in your chart. Uh, the Queen of Wands comes out in tarot readings to represent leadership, confidence, taking action. She's also the mistress in tarot, uh, sometimes like the side chick or an attractive outside influence that may be... Um, relevant to mention but we've got some confidence and bravery and courage feisty energy this actually came out with the queen of pentacles we have two women showing up this is in reverse the queen of pentacles in reverse um so this could be a taurus virgo capricorn leo aries sagittarius some of you guys are having to be confident having to remain confident even though you're not feeling the most grounded or stable or secure within yourself there's some self-worth here um you know, liking your appearance and appearing confident. We have the two of swords at the bottom of the deck. Difficult decisions, a crossroads, choices, um, you know, a little bit of a stalemate. So let's see what else comes out, Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, October 2022, Halloween 2022. So that two of swords is actually coming out. So this is an important decision. Again, with the crossroads, okay, stalemates. And then we have this with the five, six, seven of cups. This card has been coming out a lot this month. A lot of us are feeling overwhelmed emotionally. This is your energy as a water sign cancer. Um, a lot of options, okay? A little bit of overwhelmed confusion. There's so many choices, people, places, and things around you that, um, you know, there's maybe a, there was a two-week period. There may have been two weeks in October, like the last two weeks, maybe the first two weeks of November. But there is a little bit of a holdup as um, you wait for someone to decide or you wait for yourself to decide. There's definitely some choices here. Some may involve, uh, you know, stability or security in the past. It may involve an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or your values. Okay, um, there's some conflict going on there. But yes, uh, choices. Unfortunately, we don't have time to sip from each of these cups. They're all going to offer different things. All of these people, places, and things and opportunities are going to initiate different feelings within you. So the important thing is here to choose and to not be paralyzed for too long. Give yourself a couple of weeks. Hopefully you gave yourself a couple of weeks, you know, to kind of sort through some of these emotions and this confusion. Someone here is very confused at a, about a choice or about something that's at a crossroads. And we do have the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck, which, which suggests, you know, battles, going through things that wound you but not backing down not giving up i was almost going to tell you that um because of how long it took you to connect with me in your reading um don't give up cancer keep pushing forward 
You're very close to ending the boss battle, to fighting the final battle. You're very strong. You can handle lots of different emotions. You handle confusion a bit different than the rest of the zodiac because you are ruled by the moon. So you might be feeling this in Scorpio season when some of that emotion comes into the universe. Let's see what else we have for Cancer. Sun, Moon, and Rising, October 2022, Halloween 2022. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, so we will keep the Nine of Cups. This is fulfillment, content, wish fulfillment. Okay, so there is some confidence that you're going to need to make a choice that you've been wishing for that, that would make you feel the most content and satisfied. Especially because some of you guys are definitely dealing with that Five of Cups energy. Here this card is in this deck. This is the part of the movie near the end of Nightmare Before Christmas where Jack is quite devastated. He feels like everything is spoiled because he tried to bring Christmas to Halloween Town and it didn't go very well. It was quite disastrous. So even though there are some things conflicting you emotionally that have got you down and a little bit depressed at some point, um, there's still some contentment. There's a difference between being overwhelmed emotionally and being fulfilled emotionally, but they are quite similar. What else do we have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, October 2022. We have the Sun card. Interesting. Leo energy. There may be a child, but this is something that you're seeing very clearly. This is the part of the movie where Jack visits Christmas Town, and, and this is something that makes you very happy and content. This is quite surprising. It may surprise you as well, even though there's a lack of stability and choices and overwhelmed emotion. There's some happy, content, very uh, warm, joyful energy. It's coming out with, um, let me move this back a little bit, you guys, just so you can see the whole reading. It's coming out with a mysterious card that has decided to lay face down. So there may be something hidden here with the Four of Swords. Okay, this is the first time this card has come out. So you may have had to wait the entire month of October, or there's a four-week period here for you to recover, for you to heal, for you to meditate and pray and relax and just heal and recover, perhaps from actual illness. Um, the first four days of November, but happiness is coming, content energy is coming, your wish for happiness, whatever or whoever that might be is coming in. There's just a little bit of a, with this card being in reverse, there's something going on with finances or stability that is um, attached to your confidence or lack thereof. Some of you guys, even if there is some instability or insecurity, a lack of commitment, whatever that is in the tangible realm, um, still be confident especially when it comes to your wishes becoming fulfilled. Um, it, you know, you can be content regardless, okay? But there is a little bit of a delay or healing process that needs to take place. And the bottom of the deck is the Page of Pentacles, some kind of a gift, some kind of an offer that is going to come in, all right? So, Cancer, I have a little bit of a surprise for you. This month, I am doing energetic trick-or-treat with the zodiac signs. So, I have placed uh, several different pieces of paper in here that say trick and that say treats. And this is just going to let me know a little bit more of an extra vibe for you, Cancer. So, trick-or-treat, Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what the vibes are now. We have the Nine of Cups here. Yes, exactly, treats. That's exactly what I was feeling. So you're getting treat cancer. Halloween, October, definitely had some good things in store. For those who pull treat, at least one positive or good thing will occur that is in your favor. The Nine of Cups, joy, pleasure, and satisfaction. Those are the intentions that I had for those who pulled treats this month. So. Thank you so much, Cancer. I didn't realize, but the Five of Cups has decided to show itself. So even though there is some conflicted emotion and sadness, there's happy and content energy on the way. After you've healed, after you've cho after you've made a choice, you have a choice around you, someone or something that would make you very content and happy and make you a little more stable. Just don't overly focus on pessimism because there are options in coming in. Apologies, opportunities, investments that can grow into the near future. So everything that you need to know about this reading can be found in the description box below. I do hope that it helped you all. If you'd like to connect with me in a personal reading, you can find out how to do that in the description box as well. But if I don't connect with you in that way, I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye!